President Donald Trump had a security breach that was a little too close for comfort and required his snipers to spring into action. A man flying a paraglider was swooping in on the American president and the snipers had their scopes lined up. It was unknown what this person was doing and there was a good chance that it could have been someone flying in to drop an explosive on the president as he was near the Turnberry golf course. But that's when the elite snipers made a huge decision. Just as the person on the paraglider came within feet of Trump's head, the snipers decided not to fire. The flying human that ended up being a protester who was dropping by with a nasty message for Trump and within seconds the elite snipers made the critical decision to spare the annoying person their life after they realized what they were flying in with. This person flew in with a banner sign to protest the president. It was an aerial threat that no one saw coming until it was too late. But it turned out that the protester only wanted to send a non-violent message, so the snipers spared them their life. The snipers probably could have taken them out if this was declared a no-fly zone. Maybe they should have called it a no-nat zone. The pilot will still face legal trouble and it could be bad considering they were that close to the POTUS. The Greenpeace activists flew over Trump's Turnberry golf course with a sign emblazoned with the phase Trump well below par. They were lucky not to be shot out the sky as the president's elite snipers aimed their GS at the aerial threat from the roof above. The paraglider flew three miles across the Ayrshire countryside at 9.30 p.m. Minutes after Trump arrived at the course, they then circled the lawn in front of the Turnberry Hotel where the U.S. president is staying for the weekend. A Greenpeace spokesman said police had been informed of the protest 10 minutes prior to it being launched. Greenpeace also claimed they contacted Prestwick Air Traffic Control by telephone and radio to inform them about the paraglider's arrival. But officers say it was an offense and are seeking the pilot, Police Scotland's assistant Mark Williams said. We are aware a powered parachute was flown in close proximity of the Turnberry Hotel earlier this evening. It is a criminal offense to fly within the airspace restriction zone and officers are carrying out inquiries to trace the pilot. The security breach comes amid clashes between protesters and Trump supporters during a march through London yesterday afternoon. Crowds chanted shame on you and waved dump Trump banners during a mass demonstration in the capital this afternoon. Jeremy Corbyn Ed Miliband and David Lammy were among up to 45,000 people to join the march through the Capitol's streets. The Labour leader told the assembled protesters Mrs May shouldn't have rolled out the red carpet for the leader of the free world, but many Tory MPs and fans of the Donald on Twitter pointed out that he had previously invited the IRA to Parliament and called Hamas his friends. This type of behavior must be met with very strict repercussions. People of the public should not be able to get that close to the president or leader of any country. A stern punishment should be in store for this person as it could be viewed as something along the lines of an assassination attempt. How do the authorities know if the pilot did or did not have any sort of weaponry on the paraglider? They could have had a weapon like a GN or some sort of explosive that they dropped out of the sky. They would have likely been shot out of the air. But if they caused an explosion, then they also might have gotten away with it. There has to be a level of respect and an amount of space that people should be required to give a sitting leader of the country. Of course, we also need the balance of people who support the leaders to be able to be in public with their president without having to feel discomforted themselves. Trump protesters are getting out of control, especially when they're protesting in a land where he's not even the president. How does that even make sense? If President Trump shows up at your golf course, then it should be fine to give him a handshake and thank him for dealing with CNN and their fake news or guys like Jim Acosta who have brought shame to the journalism industry. What should be the punishment for the protester who came a bit too close to President Trump?